Select kitchen items for living local provided by The Rachel Ray Show. Well, welcome back everyone. It's another Baking with Bisky day. And even though it's pretty breezy out there today, we are well on our way to nice weather. And you know what that means, Josh. What, that, what does that mean? It means that we're going to be grilling. Well, I'm already there. You're already ready not, for grilling not quite season? Yet. We've had some nice grilling weather though, and this weekend is going to be perfect for that. So maybe take what you learned today apply it this weekend. There you go. So we are all about it and we're all about putting together some quick sides that you can take to somebody's house if you're invited to a cookout or if you're hosting, we can do this. It's so easy. So we're making some pasta salad today. So you need one box of rotini or bow tie pasta um, cooked and then drained off to the side. You're going to need some Italian dressing, cucumbers, tomatoes, a little bell pepper if you want it, maybe some green onions if you want some of that in there, sure. and then lots of cheese, mozzarella or cheese of your choosing. You picked the tri-color. I did. It's you just, pretty. Well, it pops, right? You got a lot of, lot of colors there. Exactly. That's one thing. It looks like such an impressive dish, but in reality, just it's easy and it's so just pretty. Just colored, yeah, colored pasta so noodles. We are going to give you the fun job today. You get to stir things that's while it. I chop over here. You know that's a job that I can handle. So your fingers oh. are safe today. So if you want to, the pasta is cooked and drained over there. You can go ahead and add your bottle of zesty Italian dressing. Okay. And I'm going to cut up some cheese. I got some of the really good fresh mozzarella if cheese. If that was smart, I would have pre-opened them. Oh, well, that's okay. We've got time. I'll sit here and cut this stuff up while you are working. Now, so are we dumping the whole bottle in there? You are going to dump the whole the bottle. The whole bottle. Yeah, you're going for it. Okay. Sodium, we don't care. We're just taking the whole cap <laughs> off then. Exactly. You're going to be grilling out. You're going to be having a good time. And you love pasta salad, right? So this is one of my favorite things. My mom makes really good cold pasta salads that we grow up with. So I've kind of learned to do that. I like warm pasta too, but cold pastas, you can just prepare them on a Sunday, put them in a big... Container. You know, container and then put Cover them in the fridge up. and then you've got a side all week. Nice. Okay, so you're working on that. I'm going to cut the cheese into some smaller pieces. What does your mom put in her pasta salad? Just very similar things. So I think it's why I'm an olive addict. So there's always oh. olives in there. Um, there's usually some celery or onions just to give it that little crunch. Okay. Um, definitely Italian dressing. And then you can always put other things in there too. I think sometimes she has radishes. Ooh, adds a little yeah, spice to it. Yeah, a little it. bit. See, I have to confess, I'm not a huge onion fan, so that's why I left the what? onions out. I know. I really like onions when they're cooked, Okay. but I cannot stand raw onions. It's not for me. I like them cooked and raw. You're like, just give me all the onions. So I thought this was an onion, but it was actually... Yeah, it's cheese. Just a ball of cheese. So you can go ahead and add the olives in there if you want to, Okay. since you said you are an olive you addict. Me, you can chop them too, or just put them in their yeah, bowl? Yeah, however you want to do it. Doesn't matter. You and I are not picky. As long as we're getting olives, we really don't care. Because we're getting fed. Yeah. And that's, getting olives. That is the more accurate description. People are like, oh my gosh, you guys are in the kitchen so much. Yes, look at me. I like to eat, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bashful about it. So you can add those chopped tomatoes over here if you want to add those as well. Don't take the cheese yet. The cheese has a special... A special plan in a minute. Oh, really? Yes. I'm sliding that away. Exactly. Just don't, in case. I'm not going to get a little Don't get too over gung ho here. over here. Alright, so you can add, we've got some red bell peppers as well. We did like half of one because it was huge. So you can add a lot of stuff to it. And you chopped these into little pieces. I did, Look little bite-sized pieces. And then we've also got some pepperoni. You can do pepperoni or salami, whichever you prefer. But Josh and I like pepperoni better. So that's what we're doing. Um, one of my favorite pasta salads to make that's really easy is BLT pasta salad. Have you ever had that? I have not. Bacon? Bacon, romaine lettuce, and bow tie pasta with some um, homemade ranch you dressing. You like bow tie. I bow tie pasta is great. It makes me feel youthful and like a little kid. Sure. Happy. It's good stuff. Do you have a lot of cold pasta? You know, I did not really discover it until recently. This wasn't something that my family grew up doing. Sure. But now that I've found it, I mean, it's carbs. What's so not to like, right? True. But there's vegetables in there, so I feel a little bit better about my decisions as long as I'm getting some veggies in there. So I'm just slicing the pepperoni into some smaller bite-sized pieces. Let's just say biscuit, you know they make the small pepperonis. I couldn't find any They're, yesterday. They are hard to find, yeah. I couldn't find any. I know, that would have been smart. I should have sent you to the grocery store. That's what I should have done. I noticed that knife is cutting a little bit better. Yes, so <laughs> mad props to my husband Josh because I brought all the knives home so he could sharpen them and make them much better. He's working off the clock for us. He is. God love him. He's a good team player. Do you want more pepperoni or is that enough for you? 
I want more pepperoni. Okay, I'll give you some more pepperoni and then I'll slice up the cucumber in a second. Yeah, you know, it really takes a team to put together the show. There's a lot of stuff that you don't realize goes on behind it. So while I'm doing this, if you want to, you can put a little bit of Italian seasoning on top okay. of that cheese over there and just sprinkle it in. And then once you have the seasoning. Just a little bit? Yeah, we'll put it in, maybe a little bit more than that. So while we are doing this, you know what time it is. Every day on our show, we get to announce the prize winners for the amazing Shreveport Regional Art Council's fundraiser, Club 365. You can still join Club 365 at joinclub365.com. Josh will tell you, you get 10 chances 10 to win. 10 chances. Yep. Amazing prizes. But you're helping to support a local arts, the local arts, and a portion of your membership fee is tax deductible. So join the club, tune into our show every weekday to see if you win. And now for today's prize winner. We're here Thursday, March 18th in the KTAL NBC6 studios to announce the amazing prizes for Club 365. This fundraiser for the Shreveport Regional Arts Council gives you chances to win prizes every day for 365 days. The sponsor of the day is Matthews Landscape, and today's prize is six pest control treatments every other month for a year from Matthews Landscape. And our winner is Gary and Julie Savage. Congratulations to our winners. If you want to know more about how you could win prizes, just visit Join Club 365.com. Taking a look at your uh, weekend weather. If you did miss that at the beginning of the show, we're talking about perfect grilling weather this weekend. There you go. We'll be in the 60s on Saturday. A little cool both mornings, but Sunday just perfect as we'll wind up in the low 70s. And we'll stay in the 70s for much of next week. Again, we do have some rain next Tuesday and Thursday. So we've hit a dry stretch of days here, uh, which is pretty rare with much months of March, April, May. So take advantage of it. We still got a few more things to put in here. Yeah, so I'm going to add the cucumbers and then we are going to gently fold in that cheese over there that we put the seasoning on. Okay. And if you want to find this recipe for the pasta salad, go to arclitexhomepage.com under Loving Living Local and check it out under Baking Biscuit. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow for Fit for Life Friday with Superman and more Loving Living Local.